Yeah, you're right. We have no idea what it even is. Let, let's try the Dust Devil. I can always run. But it, it did say fighting is not required, right? So... We don't have to fight that. Let's go in. Right? We don't necessarily have to fight. This thing's going haywire. It's like a Roomba. But maybe we can find something else. Fishing pole. Man, I love fishing. The ranged weapon. Deals your muscle plus one physical damage. I've got a fishing rod. A, water, a watering trough through some long gone livestock. Let's test the fishing rod. We're fishing! You didn't catch anything, but it was good practice. I'm gonna try and fish in everything. This thing kind of, can I, you think I can sneak by it? I'm not gonna, I don't want to destroy it, it's kind of cute. Maybe, we'll, can we fish in the bathtub? No. No fish in there. Let's talk to him again. Should we, let's tell him about the ring. I don't want to give it to him. It's a 17 SIT ring. I got one of these in faux emerald, but not a faux sapphire one like this. These are ones they give to the junior varsity pig skinners. Had a little enchantment on them so the kids wouldn't get quite so many concussions. Probably worn off by now. Is it worth anything? Nah, not to a jeweler or a pawnbroker or anything like that. Eight karat gold and stones made of glass. The collector would give you 30 meat for it, such as myself, if you're interested in selling it. Let me think about it. Good to know. I know I need the gas, but it says you saw the you saw the blue you saw the blow the blow lord. Fighting's optional. Th there's a solution. There's a pacifist solution here. Uh, we already asked him all this, didn't we? But we can't get in there. Let's try the dust devil. Holy shit. It, I'm only gonna do, what, one damage to this guy? He's gonna do four more damage to me? And he's got four bleed on me? I'm gonna die. You should have listened to Chekhov. So far, everything has instantly blasted my ass that I've tried to fight. Okay, this is the only area that I have not been, right? Let, let, let's try fighting this guy. How to progress? You understand that that's the whole game. We can we can we can find other ways to progress or we could try to fight this thing. We probably need higher muscle if we wanna fuck with things. I could eat here, here here's what we'll do. I'm gonna eat the clam jerky. You gain an effect, slightly clamber. Okay. Now our muscle is increased. Now we should be able to force open the door. Okay. 
There's the scary bull man. There's a carving on the trunk of the tree. It says, How he loves playing the harmonica. Aw. That is, that is cute. Someone has placed... Hold on. What did it say? It's one of these newfangled indoor-outdoor refrigerators. Let's open it. Someone left a perfectly good mason jar full of gasoline. How's it going, Shade? How are you doing today? Look, we found the gas. We got the full gas can. The stew in this pot is beyond help, but you could probably salvage the ladle. We got a grimy spatula. It's a magical weapon. No wonder the stew's so messed up. Yeah. It deals your mysticality plus two. That's my best weapon I have so far. A uh, fishing rod does plus one physical. But since everything's at one, let's equip this grimy spatula. Now, I will say, yeah, you're right, it's like trash. We probably don't want to mess with this guy. Maybe we can talk to him. No, it's his fight. But we got the gas. But see? You don't have to fight if you don't want to. All the, all the, the solutions are there. Wait, wait, wait. The water pump. The gas pump. Man, I love fishing. Should have known there weren't any fish in there. You can see the entire thing. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I should have known. Any luck with the gas? You show the driver your gas can. Well, his gas can. Hey, it's a full can of gas. I knew you could do it. Are you ready to hit the road? Yeah, let's get. We don't need anything else here, right? We can. We likely can come back at some point, and even if we can't. We, we would just be fighting these weird things. So. He takes a can and empties it into the bus tank. Yeah, the only thing is we would want to sell the ring. But I want to keep the ring because it says I can use it to pull a heist on people. Or pretend that I'm part of a graduating class that I'm not. And any kind of item that lets me pretend I'm something, I got to keep it. As, as the heist rules. Climb on the back of the bus and return to your seat, and soon you're dozing off to the sound of rain spattering on the window beside you. Unfortunately, it's barely an approximation of sleep, the sort of sleep that you slip into so gradually that you don't even know you're asleep until something wakes you up. Blunkett Street, and you realize that your meandering thoughts of the past few minutes have been utterly strange, shadowy tendrils of whispering ideas. Hey kid, this is your stop, right? That are now totally forgotten. Ugh. Ugh. What? All ashore is going ashore. Thanks for traveling Willis and Bus Co. Disembark. The Cola Wars. Red Cola or Blue Cola? Remember there's a war about it. This is where the game wants me to go, but... Going out of business. Yeah. Okay, let's go into the antiques. Our uncle's in there, right? I got a discarded bottle of cologne. We always dig through trash. We always dig through trash. This bottle of cologne is inexpensive to begin with, and throwing it away doesn't make it any more valuable. Increase your stench armor by one. We can get stench armor. Or lease. Please. Alright, let, let's go into the antique store. The bell over the door jangles as you walk into Murray's Antiques. The young woman at the counter looks as you enter. Oh, hi, you must be Wesley. We don't get many customers at this time of night. Or at all, really. That's me. You were expecting me? Yeah, Murray didn't say much about you, but he gave me this or that letter to mail. My name's Jessica. Oh, geez, you're soaking wet. Come on in and I'll get you a towel. You walk over to the counter, trying not to drip on any vintage bric-a-brac as Jessica grabs 
a threadbare bath towel from a shelf and pulls the tag off before tossing it to you. Thanks, is Uncle Murray here? His letter wasn't very specific. He isn't. You said that in a kind of ominous way. Where is he? Jessica sighs. I wish I knew. He had a line on another artifact and said it was going to be a tough one. I told him he should get some backup, but he wasn't willing to wait. He just wrote that letter and told me to mail it if he didn't come back. Is there something I'm missing here? This is an antique shop, right? You're trying to make... Or you make trying to talk to great aunt Ruthie into selling her mother's Chesterfield sound like a deadly spy mission. Yeah, this is going to take some explaining. Well, I'm definitely intrigued now. Explain away. We don't have a lot of time just now, but follow me and I'll give you a quick sketch. She's going to sketch for me? Okay. Jessica leads you into a back room furnished with some desks and some strange looking machinery. Welcome to our back office, the hub of our literal operation. I'm guessing by operation, you're talking about something other than antiques? Well, yes and no. See, a few years ago, Murray found out that there's a bunch of antiques circulating that are, well, hinky would be a real understatement. Hinky? Murray called them tainted. Dark magic. Real bad mojo. You know, cursed. Making bathtub gin. I'll say you've got to be kidding me. We won't, but we did meet a ghost. It's no joke. That's what our real job is here. The antique store is just, well, not exactly a front. We find a lot of regular antiques too, and selling them keeps us in scratch. But really, we're trying to hunt down all these evil doodads and neutralize them so nobody gets hurt. And Uncle Murray went out to get one and never came back? That's the long and short of it, yep. What do you say? Are you in? Yeah, who would not... Okay. Who in their right fucking mind would enter a mysterious antique store, be told about... Yeah, we collect haunted antiques and then de-hauntify them. Would you like to join? Who's saying no? Who's gonna, who's gonna turn down that proposal? Absolutely nobody. You give me the opportunity to hunt down evil antiques, and I'll take it in a heartbeat. Absolutely. <laughs> I have a guarded option. I'm always up for a crazy adventure. Great. You hear the shop door opening, and after a moment, a goblin, a goblin pokes her head into the office. Two-fifths of the way to Ara Ara? That's pretty close for a, a, redeem, a redeem that I thought was never going to happen. Hello? Oh, hey, that's swell timing. Hi, Gabby. Murray's sister's kid showed up. Come meet him. Oh, look, I can... We can pronouns. But I do go by him pronouns. Should I be guarded, though? Should I guard myself? Should I stay true to the guarded nature? I don't know. This person seems nice. I just didn't like that other person asking me about my whole life. We'll say, nice, pleased to meet you. The other person kind of came at me with like a super crazy question right away. Hi, hello. The pleasure is, the pleasure is all Gabby's. This is Gabby a goblin, by the way. Gabby is a goblin. Gabby, would you be a deer and carry his luggage to Murray's room and grab some blankets and stuff out of the cupboard? He can sleep there till we find Murray. You've gotten it. <laughs> You've gotten it. Gabby picks up your suitcase and carries it through a door in the back of the room. Yeah, I think I love Gabby too. The desk is a mess. Whose desk is this? Murray's. I keep nagging him to straighten it up before someone bumps into it and we have to call the National Guard. To dig them out of the avalanche with curse proof shovels and a squad of exorcists handy. Anyway, best not to mess with it. Will do. I mean, I won't. A grandfather clock? You're not sure what this clock is telling, but it sure isn't time. There's nobody you need to call right now. There's nobody at this desk. Look, there's a, there's a dog. Hey, Jessica, whose desk is this? Charles Wallace, our handyman. He's up fixing a leak on the roof right now, but he'll be back down later. I see. 
They got a handyman on retainer. I don't have time to play games. Cannot hazard a guess is what this contraption does on modern radio. It's a cat. It's not a dog. I thought it was a dog. What's this cat's name? Oh, man. This is one of those names that I do not know how to pronounce. Calliope? Calliope? <laughs> it, one of the muses, right? I know it's one of the muses, but I don't know how to pronounce it. 